What's poppin' homies? It's your girl Gossip Girl coming in. I have a breaking story for you guys today. Colorado mom, stepmom, charged with murder in an 11-year-old boy's disappearance. The stepmother of a missing 11-year-old Colorado boy was charged with his murder Monday, and authorities are now looking for the boy's body. Deputies began looking for Gannon Stouch five weeks ago when he was reported missing from his home in Colorado Springs. His stepmother, Letitia Stouch, told deputies he ran away from home January 27th. Authorities said she was the last person who saw him. Letitia was arrested Monday in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina on charges of first-degree murder, child abuse resulting in death, tampering with a body, and tampering with physical evidence, authorities said. All the evidence points to Gannon's disappearance being the result of foul play. FBI agent Dean Phillips told reporters at a news conference to announce the arrest that was aired on Fox 21, Colorado Springs. Reporters weren't told what led to the to Letitia's arrest. This is the worst news and the, bad, and the best news. Gannon's biological mother, Landra Hyatt, told the news conference. It's the best news because justice will be served, she said through her tears, adding that Stouch would pay 100% for the heinous thing that she did. <clears throat> Shortly after Gannon's disappearance, Colorado Springs Station KKTV aired an interview with Stouch in which she accused de de detectives who questioned her about Gannon's disappearance of violating her constitutional rights. During the interview, I asked several times, can I stop the interview? Can I get an attorney? Can I stop the interview? Can I get an attorney? Stout said with the back facing cam but with, the, with her back facing the camera. I was denied. I was told I couldn't get nothing to drink. I couldn't go to the bathroom. She said the detectives were twisting what she told them and making her feel uncomfortable. So I immediately stopped and felt like an attorney would help me with some of the vocabulary and things like I, that I needed help with and understanding some of the things they were asking, she said. Stout also accused the detectives of handcuffing her teenage daughter <coughs> excuse me, after a traffic stop. <coughs> excuse me. So I am glad the justice is being served. I'm glad they arrest her. It was foul play. Um, this little boy went missing. I'm so glad that they got her. Now we just have to search. They have to search for the body and everything. But I hope that when she get in jail, I hope she get turned inside out. I hope she get beat down to the point that she cannot even walk but still live. Because this was really messed up what she did to this boy. And you up there talking about your constitutional rights. They won't give you nothing to drink because you murdered a little boy. You murdered a little boy. For what? For what reason? So now his biological mother has to suffer and the pain and the loss because you take it you took it upon yourself to kill him. And for what? What could this loving your boy have done to you so bad that you wanted his life to end? I tell you boy, it's some wicked people out here in this world. It is some wicked people out here. But well, anyway, guys, that's what I have for right now. Let's keep the biological mothers in prayer. Um, let's pray for his family. Um, because now, you know, they have to deal with finding the boy. And once they find him, they got to give a funeral service. It's just a lot that goes into this. And it's, and it's, and it's ridiculous. But I do, I am glad they do have her in custody. Thanks for listening. Bye.